Hi, David O'Dell here. O'Dell Complete Concrete. We're heading to United Rentals. They have a portable batch plant here. We're going to get a, a U cart. It's a mixing trailer. How you guys doing today? Doing good, OU. Richard. Tim. Tim, nice to meet you. Jim. Jim? Yeah. Tim and Jim. Gets yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy to remember, right? <laughs> I like it. We're going to be getting a 3000 PSI pea gravel mix. We're going to take it to the job. These things will carry about a yard and a half, almost two yards. But they'll only put one yard in them. Now this mix is not very good. It's really gritty, sandy. Not a whole lot of cream in it that we found. We've gotten two loads recently from this particular place. And the mix, the sand is I think real, really uh, coarse. There's not many fines in it, so it's really difficult to finish. But the area that this concrete's going to go into is already uh, set up. This is actually his first day on the job site. This is my son's job. First time here, he looked at some pictures, and then he showed up with some concrete. That particular drain there um, doesn't work at all. It's just it's a dead end. This was probably like a little koi pond maybe at one time and anyway they had to get this thing filled in quickly because the people that live here have a grandson about three years old and you kept falling into this these these uh trip hazards so they wanted to fill it in as quickly as possible and match that exposed aggregate you can see the concrete around the brick ribbons has that round rock exposed aggregate and it was seeded so this is going to get seeded as well He's got some rock with him that he'll be, once he gets this rotted off or screeded off and then bowl floated, he'll start throwing the aggregate out there and then work that into the surface. And later on, after it gets hard enough, he can rinse the cream off the top of the seeded rocks. Then you'll have that exposed look. But he's going to show that whole process throughout this video. And we kind of have a timeline too because. What he does after he gets it bowl floated, he also funny trowels it and gets the, the seed in there before he returns the equipment. Um, so we're going to have somewhat of a timeline right here on the lay down process. That's about 35 minutes. He's using a four foot Milwaukee red stick, which is a level that's designed to screed concrete with. Okay, the slab's all laid out. Now what we're doing is we're cleaning the rock before we throw it in. This one's already clean. Let's just uh, let's have some fun and throw it in. You know how I'm doing it, Tim? You go low and throw. Try not to hit that middle area. Now the existing concrete that has the exposed aggregate wasn't they didn't put it on very heavy pretty sparingly and so he's gonna do it about the same way to try to match it as close as possible and it you know they never do match when they're done at different times even the coloring of the concrete will be a little off Probably about 90 degrees outside right now during this whole process. Right now we're about 40 minutes into it. So the idea of uh, when you're doing seeding is to get all that rock 
all the way down into the concrete and get the cream around every pebble. And that's what's going to assure that those rocks don't pop out later on you. So right now the mixer trailer is still sitting in the front yard. And you do have a timeline to get those back. Otherwise you're going to get hit with a um, standby or additional fee. running a half inch edger around it and troweling out the edger line as he goes. Now we're about an hour into this project. We've got all the rock embedded. He ended up leaving to return that U-cart. Now he just got back. It took him an hour round trip to get that thing dropped off. When he got back here it's uh, pretty hard as you can see. Not much cream to pull. It's so hard already. I got hurry. Once he got it all smooth troweled and edged then he started rinsing it and now we're about three hours into this project from the very beginning 90 degrees outside one way to make the co concrete color match um, the existing concrete color is by letting this cure out for a couple weeks and then uh, hit it with some muriatic acid and it'll kind of yellow it up and it'll uh, end up matching the existing concrete a little bit better but that about wraps, wraps up this video thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like share if you can have a good one